In this video, we'll show you where to access a matrix on your Grandma 2 and also how to store the selections that you create therein. In this example, I'll select a group of 15 moving heads. Now I can touch a matrix to access my options. I'm going to use the highlight function to make the a matrix selections in my example more clear. I'll set the interleave to 2, and now when I press next, I'll cycle through the odds and the evens. An interleave of 3 will select the first of every group of 3, followed by the second fixture in every group of 3, and so on. The number in the single X field will indicate where you are in the interleave. The block options will allow you to select more than one fixture in each interleave, like the M matrix groups in the series 1. If I set my interleave to 5 and blocks to 2, I'll get the first two fixtures in every series of 5, followed by the second two in every series of 5, and so on. Wings still offers the same functionality as you'll remember, and if you're looking specifically for position wings, you'll find those options under Wing Style. If at any time you wish to eliminate the MHX selection, just press Reset. New to the Grandma 2 is the separation between X and Y selections in your matrix. This is particularly useful when you have a grid of fixtures. On our stage, we have a 10 by 10 grid of RGB cells. Again, I'll use Highlight to try and make the selections more clear. Looking again at Interleave, if I set this at 10 and then use Next, you'll see that the console will select the cells in columns. This selection is still being reflected in the single X cell, if we set this to off and instead work in the single Y cell, we start selecting in rows. Next we'll look at the align functionality, which adds a level of control to the align options you're already familiar with. I'm going to reset to clear the current matrix and then I'll discontinue using highlight for this example. Now I'll set an interleave of 10 and then an align group of 10. Now I'll use the first mode of align by clicking the key once, and then I'll turn the level wheel. Now instead of the intensity values aligning between 0 and 100% over my 100 cells, they're aligning on each row of 10 simultaneously. Want to do it in columns? It's the same process, just using the align group Y function. Once you're comfortable with that, you can try using both X and Y functions to create diagonals. And keep in mind this isn't just for intensity, and don't forget you can apply the other options in the M matrix to this process as well. You can also save what you've configured in the MHX pool. First, open the window by selecting MHX in the Pools tab of your new view. Then press Store and touch an empty box. To reuse it, select a group of fixtures, touch your stored MHX, and you can move right into using Next and Previous, or your alignment, or your pan and tilt wing. 